What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I just want to show you a little trick that I do when I'm working up loads. So to make sure that my neck tension is good, what I do is I just make this little mark with a fine point sharpie. And the reason why I make this mark is to see if the bullet is being gripped tightly enough by the neck. So what I'll do is I'll make a little mark like this and I'll actually try to twist the bullet a little bit without applying extreme amount of force obviously but I I grab the bullet and I try to twist it to see if the neck is gripping the bullet properly and with this mark you'll be able to see if the bullet moves at all if the bullet moves at all and you're applying a normal amount of force that means your neck tension is not good also this is a great thing to do if you're working up loads with a heavy recoiling revolver and you want to make sure that your crimp is tight enough and that the bullets are not moving inside of the case from the recoil same thing if you're working up loads with a semi-automatic cartridge you want to make sure that that bullet stays in place and that you don't have loose neck tension so this is basically all I do just to check as I'm working up my loads to make sure that these bullets are not moving around on me from recoil or just from handling them and I always like to do the twist test you know so I just I just grip the bullet right here and I literally just try to twist it inside of the neck to see if it moves okay and I'm not using an extreme amount of force I'm not using a wrench I'm just using probably a medium amount of force okay I'm gripping it right here and then with my other hand I'm holding the case and I try to twist a little bit and if it doesn't move that means my neck tension is good okay but these marks are really important to make sure that you know your bullets are not moving while you're working up a load because if you're working up loads and you're at the range and your bullets start moving around on you and you don't have good neck tension, guess what? Your chronograph readings, your velocity readings are not going to be 100% accurate because you're going to have some pressure escaping out of the case mouth because it's not creating a tight seal around the bullet. And your accuracy is not going to be proper. So this is something I like to do just to make sure that my neck tension is good as I'm working up loads so I know that my readings are 100% accurate, okay? So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'm working up some 300 rum loads right now with the 190 grain LRX. I'm playing with the seating depth. So that's pretty much it for all of my reloading content. Check out my reloading playlist. I'll leave a link in the top right corner. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.